Hey everybody. So I wanted to give you a quick update um, on this NATO summit in Lithuania after I did a video of how the Lord had given me the word Lithuania three months ago. And now this meeting is taking place in this picture here is Vil Vilnius in uh, Lithuania. This is the NATO building. And um, they will be discussing whether to let Ukraine in. And uh, President Biden seems to have a little hesitation with it, um, you know, right now. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens because we know something's gonna happen. We know this meeting's very significant and it just happened to coincide with a dream that Chris had over at um, Global Rapture Watcher channel. And in his dream, it was pointing to five days, which at the time of the dream would lead to July 11th and 12th. And, um, and then also he mentioned that someone else, another sister also heard Lithuania. And then I also got an uh, email about another brother who had heard in the spirit Lithuania, I think a few months ago as well. And so God is really pointing to it. And I wanted to mention a couple of things too that Chris said in the video you got to watch the video he did tonight. It's called NATO Summit and Mark of the Beast Ready to Roll Out. Um, I want to tell you a couple of things he said um, that was very, <laughs> very uh, alarming. So Victoria Newland was quoted saying that World War III will start on July 11th. Okay. So I wonder what that means. Now, what's interesting is tomorrow is July 11th, 7-11. And if you all remember once a while back, a long time ago, Trump said, at the time he was president, he said, he was talking about 9-11 and he said 7-11 instead seemingly by accident, but who knows what all that's about. But this is interesting because tomorrow is 7-Eleven. And uh, then um, he also said that George Soros is forbidding to lose Ukraine. So, um, so they got to hold on to Ukraine and of course, we know Putin has threatened nuclear war if Ukraine gets into NATO. So um, now, just for your information here, we have, I'm in LA right now, California. So it's about eight, almost 8.30 here. So in Lithuania, it's July 11th already, 6.15 a.m. So they're probably going to start meeting, I'm going to guess, in maybe two hours. Um, okay, so we shall, we'll see what happens. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that back in 1994, when I told you all, all of these, uh, all the things that the Lord showed me back then, which was all related to what I later came to learn had to do with the rapture. And, you know, you've heard me go over it so many times, but maybe some of you haven't at all. But, um, you know, a couple things was New York, the Statue of Liberty, the clock that said 10 after 10 or 10 to 2. That was there. Um, I saw the family reunion. I saw the lottery and the number 11, which later I 
realize had to do with the Noah's Ark. Uh, that's another story. Um, but one of the things that I also heard was a date. I got a couple dates back then. And over the years I have, I mention it every year just as a watch day because, uh, you know, you know, after a while you, you don't even want to mention it anymore because, you know, you just feel like it just feels like, like it's hard to even keep talking about it. But on the other hand, here we are with all this stuff going on right now and all these confirmations that whatever happens in Lithuania is going to lead to nuclear war, World War III, um, it makes me feel like I should mention it once again. I'm not saying this is the day of the rapture, but it's just a day that I received back in 1994 when I saw all these other things and the family reunion, which is the rapture. But at the time, like I said, I didn't know what the rapture was. But anyway, so I did see the date July 14th. Um, I've mentioned it so many times. Um, what he gave me back then was so heavy on my spirit, it followed by signs and wonders and miracles that the, for the Lord confirming it in my spirit. And then he said, all of this is for a, a huge move of God in the future. You're going to need this in the future. And here we are, what, since 1994, <laughs> we're in the future. So what I'm thinking maybe is that July 14th, you know, I look, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but I do know one thing. God has pointed this out to me and many others and confirming, um, you know, through Chris's dream, the time zone, the time, you know, falling on this time, July 11 and 12. So, um, there's just, there's no doubt that something that will change the world will happen tomorrow. You know, um, how fast it's going to break into the nuclear stuff. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Um, but it's going to be soon. I know that. And I believe it's for sure this year, probably this summer. It could be this week. It could be tomorrow. We just aren't sure, but it could be July 14th. So basically what I'm saying is keep that in mind of watching that day, see what happens. Um, you know, I, I did, I did see family reunion with strong impression around that time uh, or connected to that day you know, connected to something that could happen that day. If it's not that day itself, <clears throat> this is how we watch. This is just how we watch for the Lord. We, we have to just take in these different, this information, um, day by day. There was also a cyber attack in Lithuania too today. So, um, I, I you know what? I mean, I got to keep this short. I wanted to load. I wanted to give you a quick update because this meeting is going to take place in a couple hours. And, um, you know, so believe on Jesus Christ if you haven't yet. It, there's, there's really, you shouldn't be waiting. I wouldn't wait another minute. Uh, he died for your sins. He shed his blood for your sins on the cross. Okay, they crucified him and he was buried and rose on the third day for the justification of all of our sins, past, present, and future. The justification of all sin by the blood of the lamb. That was what he did for anyone who would believe in him for their own sin, for the gift of eternal life. And as the clock is ticking here, uh, I don't know why you would wait if you haven't yet. So that is 
my update for now and um love you guys uh you know just keep keep your head up keep looking up this is an incredible time this really is um you know it's it's just he's coming back he's coming to get us the mark of the beast is ready to go watch that video i told you it's called nato summit and mark of the beast ready to roll out thanks for that video chris and um praise the name of jesus cannot wait cannot wait we are so blessed to be able to know that we are going to be taken out of this sick world that is ready to put a microchip satanic evil chip in everyone's body or they can't buy or sell food mark of the beast revelation 13 coming to pass coming to theaters near you soon on the way ready to roll out so we're ready to roll roll out and go up to meet our Lord in the air, according to 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. Meet him in the air. The dead in Christ will rise first, and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the air to meet the Lord in the air forever and be with him forever. He went to prepare a place for us, John 14, and he's coming back to get us so we can be in his Father's house where there's many mansions. Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, no man can come to the Father except through Jesus Christ. There is no name, no other name given among men under heaven, whereby a man must be saved, Acts 4.12. God bless. Talk to you guys soon. See you here, there, or in the air.